Right. Now, how do you fancy having a nice cultural walk through London? Well, you can do that. You can do that anywhere across the capital. But how about doing something a little bit different? It could be happening. Let's find out why from Suggs and the artist Megan Piper. Good to see you both this morning. Look, you better put us in the picture first and foremost. What could we see as a result of what you two guys are doing, Suggs? Well, um, I heard about this idea that Megan's been trying to get going, which is called The Line, and it's basically <coughs> a walk um, from the Olympic Village that will end up at the Greenwich Peninsula, basically mostly alongside water which will encompass a number of sculptures, 30 or so sculptures. So it's basically taking our outdoors so the average person can go for a walk and look at them. Is that so, Megan? <laughs> it is. <laughs> the, the idea is that um, we'll be sighting up to 30 sculptures along the waterways, so near the Thames, at the Royal Docks, um, following the River Lee and the canals, um, up to Stratford. Um, we're inviting artists and collections up and down the country to propose work for what will be a three-year outdoor exhibition. But is, is this something that you've, you've sort of uh, taken inspiration from, from what's happened in, I think it was New York, is it, for that, that raised yeah. walkway? The High Line. Yeah. Yeah, and this project's called The Line, um, and our hope is that it will um, open up a new view of London. There are walkways that are largely um, unused. Um, it will offer a fresh perspective of the city. Um, the walk's called the line because it, the route of the walk broadly follows the line of the Greenwich Meridian um, and certain points of the walk um, sort of bisect the meridian so, that, so that, that was the motivation and obviously a, a nod in the direction of the High Line as yeah. well. And are you hoping to attract a new audience, people that perhaps wouldn't sort of go along and see sculptures but might take a nice walk and will sort of marry the two? Yes, uh, I mean our hope is that it will um, appeal to people of all ages and uh, interest people who sort of art lovers and people who enjoy the opportunity of a, an urban walk. Yeah, it, it sounds lovely, sounds appealing, sounds expensive, Suggs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> wait, don't be looking at me. No, 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 the, the plan is, uh, Megan's already got, got up and running and it's, it's already starting to get a good head of steam, is um, that people can contribute to it. I mean, it's a self-funded thing at the moment. So like crowdfunding <laughs> something exactly. in effect. Exactly. So there's a site, www.spacehive.com, which um, you can contribute anything from £2 upwards to the, towards the project. And the first phase of this project will cost about £140,000, which, when Megan said that to me, didn't sound like an awful lot of money for what will become something I think will be a huge asset to London. Um, and the project will be there for three years, and if it works, it will be a rolling project, so it will be a permanent um, 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 in open air exhibition. But how important is it for, for someone like you? Know, we think of, you know, obviously you've been, you've been around for a long time, and I remember years ago seeing you when you were you're on the young ones and all that stuff. <laughs> <Indeed. laughs> but when you, look back at, but you, when you look back at how London as a city, and particularly the East End, has changed over those decades, how important is it for you to look at this and say, we need these sort of projects that are going to keep pushing renovation forward? That's a very good point, and exactly why it excited me in the first place. F apart from the fact I like art in itself. You know, I've made programmes about London, about the changing face of London, and I've been involved in writing songs about London all my life, so it's a very important thing to me. And um, I think this project could go a long way in, 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 in regenerating that part of London, for sure, in, in a very spectacular way. Love it. Sounds fantastic. Megan, give us that website once again. It's www.spacehive.com. People can give from upwards of £2, and we really need people to get involved to make the project happen. Yeah. Without people's support, it's not possible. Brilliant. Love it. It sounds fantastic. Megan, Suggs, thank you both. Thank, thank you very much. Indeed. Cheers.